Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Ticket. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. So there's only a few days left before the official release of the S20 Ultra, which is going to be February the 11th, but we have even more leaks coming out of the 20 Ultra. So let's dive in and take a look at these photos that show the Samsung Galaxy S20 from all angles, front, back, bottom, sides, and see if there's anything else we can deduce about these photos. Now these photos are coming, they're leaked by uh, YouTuber Tech Talk TV. So let's dive into the very first one. And this is the one that shows the rear of the device, uh, the camera bump, the camera module, it's all there, it's nice and clean. So you guys know by now that we are gonna have four cameras on the Ultra model. This is the model that has the largest screen, 6.9 inches and four cameras. We have a 48 megapixel uh, telephoto camera that is gonna give us 10 times optical zoom. And of course, we also have 100 times hybrid zoom that combines optical and digital. So you can see that camera at the bottom where it says 10 times. And then we have the regular 108 megapixel camera, which is gonna be the best camera among this, this lineup. And we're gonna have a wide angle camera, a super wide, 12 megapixels. And then we have a 3D depth sensing camera. On the top, on the right, you can see the flash, okay? So this is the rear of the device. We have seen this before, we know what's going on, but it's really nice to see it in such nice detail. This is the kind of detail you would expect to see after a product is released. And then the next photo, we can see the front of the device. Now take a look at the top. On the center, we have the cutout, uh, the center cutout that has a front facing camera. Now this camera is not gonna be anything special. It's gonna be just as good as the one on the Note 10 or the Note 10 Plus. But you can see that the hole is slightly smaller and that's a long-term plan of Samsung to make the hole smaller and smaller until it disappears and becomes a full screen display. Of course, people are looking forward to that, but that's gonna take a couple of years for this to be perfected and for the camera module to go under the sensor. Now, next photo, you can see the phone again from the front from a different angle. Beautiful, gorgeous 6.9 inch display. We have one UI 2.0 running here. We have real nice and thin bezels and a small chin. And if you do look carefully at the bottom, you'll see the USB type C port. No headphone jacks, speaker grill, and the little microphone hole, okay? So no headphone jack. Uh, some people I know are still thinking Samsung is going to surprise us, but no, that's not the case. It's gone. And then finally from the front, it's right there. You know, that's the frontal display. The only thing I'm going to say with this one is take a look at the rounded corners, okay? So the corners are, are all rounded, which is in line with the Samsung S lineup. Uh, when you look at the Samsung Galaxy Note uh, series, the corners are more rectangular, okay? They're more rectangular, rectangular. These are more rounded. And of course, I do have a dummy model of this phone right here. And when I look at it, I'm looking at the picture from Tech Talk TV and look at this dummy model and they look the same, exactly the same, except for the, the rear camera module, almost the same with a slight difference at the bottom, okay? But this, this is it. This is the size you're gonna be holding in your hands. And some people are saying it's too big. 6.9 inches is too big, it's not. Look, I'm holding this phone in my hand. Very easy to hold, it's thin, okay? So it's nice grip, all right? I'll, there's a lot of real estate. So I can, this is gonna be a large screen. Anyway, that was a quick video to give you guys some updates if you're not already up to date. But if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. So for now, guys, have a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.